How's it going, peoples of the YouTube? Today, I think I've got a good one and I think it's gonna live up to it. I can't believe I have not casted these two players in a match before. Up first, our Zerg player from Finland, it is Serol. And he is up against our South Korean Terran player, Bian. The map, Stargazers, and two, ooh, two very good players against each other. Bian starting very aggressively. All right, I'm gonna have a little bit of a confession. I, I knew that was coming because I, this is the third time, fourth time I'm, I'm trying to record. For some reason, my StarCraft wasn't working really well. It was lagging and it took forever to load and everything was kind of wonky. So I had to restart the entire PC. I don't know, I don't know. It seems to be better now. So fingers crossed, everything's gonna be working well. Um, I saw a couple of minutes into the game. I don't know actually what happens, but I did know this is happening. This is also, I think two videos in a row where I've got Terrans doing a uh, proxy barracks. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Now, Serral is actually looking around with his overlord. He's looking for something. I assume he suspects something. Now, he hasn't seen anything. Here comes the SCV. Is he going to spot it? Ooh, well, he could have. SCV is going to go through Maker Bunker. How's this overlord? Okay, so he sees it now. What's the reaction from Serral? He pulls two. Three. Oh okay, plenty. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. First Marine is out. Sarah's gonna have to do some micro, keep his drones alive. So far he is pulling back the injured ones quite well. Yeah, gathering them all, moving the weak ones back. Uh, I think he's gonna lose his first there. Some decent targeting by Bian. He's actually pulling off. Yeah, he's getting the... Uh, focusing down the drones. That is some very good work there from Bian. That's five drones lost. That's quite a lot. This bunker has actually gotten up. And there's three marines. Zerglings are trying to rush out queens as well. Ooh, seven workers going down already. This is not a great start for Serol. I feel like I said that funny. Serol. Eight workers. I mean, yeah, two SCVs went down. But I think that's so worth it for Bjorn. All right. Whew. Bunker is going to be taken down. I think... Serral has kind of got it. He's down a couple workers though. That's 10 workers that go down in the early game. That is a lot. Beyond following this up with a command center. I love this on this map. Using these minerals as a natural kind of protection. Which means his natural is in this position. And his third is going to go here. Which means he can very easily defend that as well. Finishing off two marines. And then he's going to lift up. He's sending both back to the main base. A lot of times Terran players actually send one over to the uh, natural or the main base of the Zerg as uh, scouting. So yeah, we're going to have to see what's going on here. Does Serral have a idea? Alright, so he sees the second CC. I assume that's going to make him feel comfortable enough to start droning. He's going to have to catch up with workers. He has already done quite well. Ooh, look at this greed from Brian. He's actually gone for another command center before the factory. I mean, this one has not even finished yet. And he's getting his third CC already. So, hyper aggressive from Brian into super greedy. I love that. That's very cool. Okay, so he's playing very safe. Getting a bunker up here. Obviously, you can salvage those. And it only costs you 25 minerals in the end, which not the biggest thing in the world. Um, yeah, at this stage, it's just it's drones. Cell's just trying to drone, drone, drone. His third base has been planted. He knows there's not going to be any aggression coming onto that anytime soon. So I think he's going to be comfortable to be droning for a little bit. At the same time, this command center is landing. Stimpak is researching as well as a single Hellion. And there we see the starboard. All right, all right. We could be stabilizing now. Serral is back in the worker lead. He is going hard on the drones right now. Getting a baneling nest up for safety. He's going to need a lair at some stage too, just to help with uh, baneling speed. But yeah, I'll, I'll leave that in his hands to know when's the best timing. Going to start looking around the map with the Zerglings. He finds a Hellion. Hellion. <laughs> 
<laughs> they had kind of get a fright and both run away from each other like ah, ah. I don't actually know who wins in that fight there couple of zerglings three zerglings or the hellion okay bunch more zerglings out across the map Serral just trying to be nice and safe is hellion still moving around and then we see more drones alrighty alrighty I think this is okay this is stabilized we're seeing double eBay and that's gonna mean that Bjorn's gonna get those infantry upgrades really nice and quick like he enjoys to do Ooh, look at this what's going on go Hellion go uh, no, no, Hellion didn't get anything right okay so I assume Bjorn was trying to sneak in there get something done Ah, look at this. Cyril's going for double upgrades after this. He must know that he's got time and doesn't need a massive army yet. Couple of medivacs floating around. Yeah, well, this is spotted, obviously. Good movement there by the Overlord. All right, it is safe. Bjorn's going to start moving across the map. Obviously, this is Bjorn. He spends most of his screen time watching the middle of the map as it, well, I don't actually know if he's doing that. But he spends a lot of time with his armies in the middle of the map, in uh, medivacs flying across, trying to drop, trying to get something done. Ooh, tries to get a queen. Nice inject there by Serral. He's going to lose a marine. No! Don't leave this poor guy behind. Ah, look at Bian. He doesn't leave him behind. What a good lad Bian is. Yeah, he looks after his marines. Actually, I really do think he does. Bian is probably the nicest person to work for if you're a marine because he will genuinely look after you i'm the worst because i will just let them die to literally everything you know just make more now you see he does not leave a man behind you go Bjorn. okay so we're stabilizing and uh things are quieting down a little bit yeah Bjorn is uh, it's not going to be long before he starts again yep there we go he's moving out once again Gonna try to prevent some creep spread stemming in. Yeah, here we go. Gets a bunch. Gets an overlord. That's not bad. And a bunch of creep trimmers. Ugh, gotta be careful. Queen's coming in from the back. Okay, he's gonna fly up. And just drop over here. Try to stop the creep a little bit this way. Side. That's the thing about this map. These uh, minerals can be very annoying for the Zerg player. Um, Terrence can abuse it quite nicely. Trying to get himself into a good position here. Banelings are on the way, but obviously Serral doesn't really want to lose those. They are quite gas heavy and he knows he's going to need them for the follow-up push. At the same time, there is a force busy pushing here through the middle of the map. Widowmind's included in this army and one's going to burrow. Is it going to get a decent hit? No, Serral pulls back. Really great micro there by Serral. Losing only, I think it was one Zergling. These marines are still looking to do something. I'll we'll stand around. Okay, yeah, they're going to push in, but there's a big Zergling force waiting for them. Bjorn. Okay, takes a lot of damage. Loses a couple. Ugh, loses a couple more. That's all right. Reinforcements joining this force in the middle. He's going to carry on pushing, trying to get rid of some of this creep. Bjorn trying to get that tempo up. He likes to be in control of a game. And I think... Uh, He's going to be quite pleased with his position. He's actually up in work account and up in army supply. Serral is a little bit against the ropes here. He's got a lot of banelings and it takes a little bit of Miss Micro here. Uh, some decent baneling connections going down. Bjorn running for his life. Widowmind gets a decent hit off there. I have no idea what's happening, but it's chaotic. Yeah, I think that was a decent trade for Bjorn. Very hard to say. I must be honest. That was... Just the definition of chaos. Serral's got his fourth, but fourth base up, by the way. He is sending a Ling run by over. They're gonna be encountered, interrupted, intersected. I have no idea what word I was trying to use. They're gonna be caught by a bunch of Marines. Sorry, the language of English has escaped me suddenly. We see the hive on the way, as well as a macro hatch for Serral. So he's probably gonna be looking into going for vipers and his late game upgrades etc he did not get plus oh there it is Ooh, that plus one melee i think is a bit delayed maybe he couldn't afford it 
yeah, that's a little bit delayed. Bian's got his fourth base busy building now. His third base is happily saturated. He's not even taking his fourth gas. Oh, that's an irritating position for these Marines. Yeah, gets rid of a lot of bailings over there. Bian just having a grand old time. Ah, he's so good. He's so good with his micro positioning. Okay, more Bainings busy being morphed. Bian's going to try to stop them. Baining speed is done, so Bian's going to have to be a little bit careful now. He can't be as cavalier with his units as he was before. Army pushing around in the middle here, or towards the bottom at least. Creep is being delayed a bit, but Serral's trying hard to stop it. Uh, I don't like that drop. But yeah, at least while there's no anti-air, um, Bian's got the freedom to drop as he likes. He's getting drilling claws up. He's already getting, what is that? Plus three. Yeah, his upgrades are looking so good. Serral's behind a little bit on the upgrades. It could become quite scary. Big force here moving down the bottom side of the map for Serral. It's going to move up. There is a Widowmite. Did he see that? Super Saiyan senses there by uh, Serral to know that he should not run there because there's a mine. Bian is now moving into Marauders. He's decided that he needs not only Marines, but something else. So he's going for Marauders. There we see a Viper. Just one Viper this time. Okay. Uh, targets some Banelings and picks up in time to not lose too much. Oh, Bian's so good. Bian is so good. This army here is kind of just having a relax at the bottom of the map. Hydra Den. Okay, so I think we're going to go into Lurkers. Hydra, Lurker, Viper. Probably more Lurker, Viper, Lingbane. Alrighty, so here we go. Marauders in front. They're ready to tank some Baneling hits. They're doing a good job. The Widow Mines also. Very nice. At the same time, Serral is pushing in here. Bjorn's had to pull back a lot of his army to try to defend that. Four workers do go down in this mineral line of Bjorn. At the same time... Whoa, there's so much happening all over the screen. Main army of Bian pushing through the middle of the map. That's some good worker damage there by Serral. He's still got a lot of links. Well, sort of a lot of links. This is a big army. Maraud is still out in front trying to tank. Reinforcements coming from the back, but the Widermans are doing good work. Ooh, Baneling Sandwich. Ooh, Widermine. That's a lot lost for both players there. Serral is sitting happily on 90 or 79 workers. I think he would want to go up a little bit more. Bian's army... Not looking too bad, still 110 to 91 army supply. Well, it changes as I speak about it. Big army here in the middle of the map. Lots of marauders. Yeah, oh, this I, I think Bian is, is pushing uh, Serral here. Serral's having to work really hard to get back into this one. At this stage, Bian is almost supply capped and uh, Serral isn't. Work account still very even. I don't think this is a work account that Serral's going to be happy with. His money is not amazing. Okay, decent banding connections go down here. Marines do stem back. Yeah, they're in a good position now. Oof. This is a tough one. Serral's trying to get desperate. He's going for the gold base. I think that's a good decision if he can hold it. But yeah, Bian has a sixth sense. Six. Wow, that word's hard to say. Sixth sense. And he immediately sends two medivacs up. This should be a cancel. The army is heading down south, but at the same time, big army of Bian is going to be attacking. Okay, this is spotted by Serral. The base does get cancelled. He's going to try to go for it again. These links are doing some damage here. Bian's army is now going to push into the... What is that? The fourth base? Third base? Fourth base. Okay, a couple of... Parasitic bong bombs go down. Parasitic bongs. No, we don't do that here. Uh, to get rid of the medivacs. Obviously, that is actually quite painful because medivacs are not cheap. You don't really want to lose them and there's a point where you want to stop producing them and spend all your money on other things. Bailings could get some decent hits in. Yeah, Serral's going to be happy with that one. Evening out the supply quite nicely. There is some harassment down here in the uh, whatever basis is of Serral. This is a really back and forth game. These two are absolutely amazing at this game. Going to see a couple of dropper lords. That could be interesting. Going to be maybe some banelings. 
Lurkaden is on the way for Serral. He desperately needs that just to be able to solidify his defenses. Ooh, nice little drop, yeah. Good pullback by uh, Serral, so he doesn't lose too much, I don't think. Nah, it's not too bad. Yeah, what do we have? Okay, so it's just Zerglings in the drop lord. So I think Serral's going to try to get to this base, which is looking so juicy. I said that very badly, by the way. Dropping in once again. Uh, yeah, those were cleared up, I think, by a Baneling or something. Large army here. Medivac's going to fly over it. Serral does see it. Ooh, he tries to catch it with the Hydras. <laughs> this is awkward. Drop a Lord's flying past the Medivac. So Bjorn knows exactly what's coming. The element of surprise is a little bit lost for Serral. He doesn't lose any workers, which I think is good. Army's going to come back to defend. Parasite Bomb goes down on another Medivac. And yeah, that's another one that goes down. All of the Marines go down. Ooh, that was caught by ghosts. Sorry, I'm going to go back to that. Look at this, Bian. Bian so awake. He flies over a couple of medevacs and... Pew, pew, pew. Oh, it wasn't even. Never mind. I thought it was ghosts. All right, there's the ghost. Unlucky there for Serral. Luckily, it was just... Ooh, and he does actually get it with the second scan. Nice work there by Bian. Yeah, these players are so good. Serral's just waiting for his upgrades for the Lurkers now. I don't even know if he has. Does he have any Lurkers yet? He's got seven Hydras, so he's ready to make Lurkers as soon as that upgrade is finished. 3-3 three, three is there for both players. At least it's 2-3 two, and 1. 2 melee, 1 ranged, 3 armor, 3 carapace for Serral. Bjorn's pushing at this side, and at the same time, he is pushing down into the gold base again. Serral is desperate for the space, but he just can't get it up. This one is going to be stopped as well. Bjorn's momentum is so good, and I think Serral might be facing a real ugly uphill battle here. Oh, that Widow Mine hit is insane. Ghost getting the Vipers as well. Eek. Serral is in some big trouble, and that's not something that I get to say all too often. Bian is absolutely playing like a savage. This army hasn't been dealt with. They're just chilling here. They're ready to stop it again. Big conflict here. Okay, a couple of ghosts go down. That's obviously not what Bian wants. Ghosts are the one unit that he doesn't really want to use. He can afford to lose the others. Whew. These two have got me talking so much. I'm, I'm actually tired. We're at 17 minutes now. Ghost gets pulled off here. Work account still even. Serral just could not get his drones up. He's trying to get some lurkers. Lurkers are obviously going to help, but the ghosts are already out. And yeah, ghosts are pretty good against lurkers. Even though Bian is losing them quite cavalier. Stimming back for his life. This could be dangerous. Serral is sending in a whole lot of his army. Widowmine hits are getting some seriously strong hits there. Ooh. Widow Mines are getting some seriously strong hits in there. Lurkers are pushing forward. If Serral happens to break through and get with these Lurkers, that could be an interesting way to end this game. Scan. He's going to try snipe the Lurkers. Run, Serral, run. I, I don't know who's going to take this. This is so close. A couple of good engagements here for Serral towards this ending part of this game. Or well, ending part. Uh, late part of the game. Yeah, my words are just messed up. Although, uh, maybe it's it's fair enough. Because it's pretty late at night when I'm recording this. Um, yeah. So, sorry if I speak like an absolute tart. It happens. Big army. Uh, I would love to see a couple more Banelings in this army. Just to help deal with the ghosts. But then again, I shall not dare dare. I shall not dare question Serral. Woo. Yeah, something like that. Serral... He needs another base. And uh, I don't think he's going to get it. He is splitting up his army now. Trying to come in from two directions. Oh, uh, good wood of mine hit. Good fungal there. Oh, that was... Ouch, that was a big hit there. Big branding hit there on those fungal growth bio units. I'm struggling to keep up. Bian is stimming back so quickly. Yeah, that was a very nice engagement for Serral. And he swings the army supply completely in his favor. Don't get me wrong. He is very very poor in the minerals but um yeah we'll have to see these lurkers could do a lot how's the upgrades looking 
Uh, still only plus two for the ranged upgrades. Okay, ghosts are starting to deal some damage. Serral still in a supply lead. I'm really struggling to keep up, keep up with these players. <laughs> They're moving so quickly across. Uh, no, wrong one. Uh, and I can't really... No, my, my keyboard scroll is really slow. Okay. See Bjorn flying over. Is he suspecting something? Oh, he probably assumes that there's going to be more drop lords. It's not. It's just a normal overlord. Whew. Okay, a little bit of chill time. Take a deep breath. This is absolutely epic StarCraft. These two are so tightly balanced against each other. Okay, big death drop coming in here. Death drop, doom drop. Maybe not doom drop entirely, but definitely a big drop. This base is going to be in trouble once again. Serral's going to lose a couple of workers. He has got his army back here. And a lot is still down at the bottom. Okay, I think he's just happy to give up this base. Viper's coming in. Ooh, some good parasitic bombs there. Yeah, Bjorn's just been stopping this base. And Serral... Serral needs the money. He needs the minerals. Okay, we see an engagement here. A couple of good snipes going down. That infestor somehow survives. Don't know how that happened. Oh no, this base is going to be taken out once again. Serral is going to try moving a position to defend it. I don't know if he's going to be in time. Yeah, it should be alright. That's a lot of ghosts in this army. And there goes the water mines. Okay, they do hit on the overseers. Good. Mm, not really, I guess. Yeah, Bjorn is now back in the lead in terms of supply. This base gone down again and Serral is struggling. I mean, Bjorn is also not super wealthy, let's be honest. Serral is, uh, he's got a lot of gas, but that's also only so useful. He still needs his minerals. Bjorn's going to keep pushing down. That's a lot of ghosts. Lot of, lot of ghosts. See what happens here. If the Zerglings can pull them off. No, not really. Pushing in once again. This is a maxed out Bion versus a not so maxed out Serral. These ghosts are going to be a pain. Scans going down. Getting rid of a lot of the lurkers. I think Bion might be putting himself into a very good position. Big painting detonations go down on those ghosts. And Bion loses a whole bunch of them. But that's a couple more snipes on the lurkers. And Serral at this stage only has one lurker left. There was an attack down here. But that got cleaned up. Oof. Serral's supply is so low. Bjorn is keeping up the aggression. Serral just doesn't have the minerals. And I think Bjorn might be taking this in what was a very tight and epic clash. I say that. He pulls back. And the game is not yet done. But it is 166 supply to 126. Serral is trying to do something here. But fighting into this space with the planetary, I don't think that's a good idea. Eek. What's the army like for Serral? He's got 51 Zerglings, 6... Six banelings and three infestors. That's not really enough. GG is called and Bjorn in an absolutely epic game beats out Serral. Yeah, that was that was quite action-packed from start to finish. I really hope you enjoyed that one. I had great fun casting it. Um yeah, whew. I'm gonna go take a breather after that one. But anyway, if you did enjoy it, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more StarCraft content. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support and I will see you in the next one.